Hey, Wasabi Operation Android here, and what you'll need for this video is a jailbroken iPhone, iPod, or iPad. We will also need the Insanely Eye Repo, don't worry, I'll show you it again. We'll need the actual N64 emulator, N64 for iOS, and we'll need Safari Download Enabler. So, let's get cooking. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do to get N64 for iOS is open Cydia. Cydia is going to load. And we'll start off by adding the Insanely Eye Repo. So go to the Manage tab. Then Sources. Top right Edit. Top left Add. And we're going to add the Insanely Eye Repo right there. Which goes R E P O period I N S A N E. LYI.com, repo.insanelyi.com. So it's going to verify the URL, click add anyway. I'm not going to click it because I already have it. And then I'm going to click cancel. So when it's done loading everything, you're going to click return to Cydia. Then we're going to go to the search tab. Now we're going to search N64 iOS. And as you can see, N64 iOS is a paid tweak. So, it's going to cost you around, I'm not sure, but I'll put in an annotation, $1.99. But if you guys don't want to get it, you can get it from the Insanely Eye Repo for free if you guys want to try it out before you actually make the purchase. So, you're going to click Install and Confirm. Alright, so now we're going to get Safari Download Enabler. So, to do that, we're going to type in Safari Download Enabler. And as you can see, it's already popping up there. It's the tweak right there it looks just like this and we're gonna go ahead and install it so click on the top right install and confirm okay it's gonna load everything and Safari download enabler is a great tweak it's free and it works perfectly with the Safari application alright so here we go we're gonna have to restart the springboard so I'm gonna restart my springboard and I'll be right back Now that Springboard has restarted, you should have an application icon like this. That's the N64 iOS application. And now we have it. But how are we going to get games? To do that, we're going to open Safari. And we're going to type in the URL. And it goes as follows. C-O-O-L-R-O-M dot com. Coolrom dot com. And it's going to automatically direct you to their mobile site. Now their mobile site is very good, so don't be afraid when it does it. So we're going to click on ROM files, scroll down to Nintendo 64, because that's the system that we're trying to get games for. And as you can see, there's a nice way to get games. There's top 25 download and top 25 rated. So I'm going to browse by letter, and I just clicked the wrong one. I'm going to click M for Mario Kart 64 so let me go back and as you can see you click browse other to look at the other letters and I'm gonna click M okay it's gonna load that and now it's gonna take me to the M's Mario Kart 64 I'm gonna click that as you can see the website offers a lot of ROMs and a nice little display here for Mario Kart 64 showing the file name the file size and how many downloads and also it's raining so as you can see when you click download file you know it's going to be downloading because at the top left Safari download enabler shows you how many um, kilobytes per second the download file is going. So Mario Kart 64 is only 8 megabytes so that's not very big and it will be extremely fast as you can see it is already done. Now when it's done you'll get a screen like this. Click open in and you click the three dots with the parentheses and now type exactly what I'm typing var mobile media capital M backslash ROM capitalized lowercase s backslash then N capitalized and then 64 I'm going to click copy and this is going to automatically copy the file to the N64 directory Okay, so when we're done, we can go ahead and go home. Now we're going to click the N64 iOS and our game will be right there. As you can see, Mario Kart 64 is there. Now, 
The N64 emulator is not complete. As you can see right now, it is missing very important buttons like an analog stick, a C stick, um, and many other buttons. But it can still be played, and I like to play this. Um, I like to play Mario Kart 64 on this N64 emulator because the analog stick works as an accelerometer. But it still has its problems, and I'm gonna go to my hands playing the game so you can see how it works. Alright, so the first thing you guys are gonna notice is that I'm holding the phone very weird like this, and that's because this is how the accelerometer works. Holding it like this has the analog stick flat. Now if I hold it like this, the analog stick goes down. As you can see, it just moved down to Yoshi without me touching anything. And look, if I go to the right, DK, Wario, and whatnot. Sorry for the bad camera work, but it's because of the accelerometer. And now if I put it back, if I go up, 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 no, it doesn't want to go up. All right. Now, whatever. I'm just going to pick Mario. Okay, so now I'm going to race. And to race, I'm going to have to be holding the iPhone flat like this the whole time. So, this is the only flaw to the accelerometer and of course the controls, but there will be an update soon. According to Zod TTD, if you follow him on Twitter, you could see what he talks about. But the actual ROM, they they run very smooth. I'm playing with no sound because that's the best way to play. And it runs very smoothly. I mean, it's a great way to do this and I like how to play Mario Kart on this. Now, for every other game, the accelerometer blows. Like, if you're trying to play Zelda Majora's Mask, it's not going to work because the analog stick is a very important role in the game, and using an accelerometer isn't going to help. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Don't get mad at me if other games don't work, because ZodTTT says himself that some games will not work on the emulator, but he will be updating it for it to work. And playing with the accelerometer is quite the pain in the butt except for Mario Kart as I said I like playing this with Mario Kart so if you guys want to play Mario Kart go ahead because this is a very fun and different way to play Mario Kart 64 on your iPhone iPad or iPod touch hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching and here's a couple of videos you might enjoy the first one is Final Fantasy 7 on your iDevice a two part series where I show you how to get Final Fantasy 7 on PSX for all and below that I have how to get GBA games on your iPhone, iPod Touch or iPad which is basically a video where I show you how to install a GPS phone, a Game Boy Advanced emulator on your iDevice. At the top right I have a subscribe button which is where you subscribe to my channel and it will give you updates and more stuff on when I come out with videos and when I'll come out with a video with the updated N64 iOS.